coming from my kitchen today. We've got um, a busy day um, with uh, cooking. I'm cooking the Yuletide pudding, um, ready for when obviously the festive period, which is upon us and very, very exciting. So um, this time of year, as you can imagine in the Moon House, as most houses all over the world, but my house especially is absolutely manic. Um, so everyone's very excited. We always put the decorations up on the 1st of December. So that's getting close. We've got Oscar's scan um next wednesday so that might be the you know the telltale whether he's coming early or not so if he does come early i think i'll be a little bit relieved in that i will have a date and i'll know so i can sort of plan around what we're doing um but also i'm a little bit worried because i've never had a child um any of our babies have been been induced so they will come naturally so for that reason i'm a little bit unsure so yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too. Not too sure whether we whether we choose to induce him or we don't induce him. You know, there's reasons why you would, and there's reasons why you wouldn't. And yeah, so we're just going to leave it till Wednesday. We'll go for the scan, um, see what the doctors say, and then we'll go from there. So, but if not, he's coming slap bang in the middle of the festive period if we don't have him induced. So, yes, one of those. It's going to be fun. But today I'm making the Yuletide pudding. Um, we celebrate Yule here. As I said before, we do the twelve days of Yule. It's spread over over the full 12 days or 12 days of Christmas, whatever you call it. There's so many lovely names out there that people call this festive period. Over here, it's Noel. You've got this, just, it's just lovely. It's such a time to celebrate and be with family. And, and we, we, you know, we really do do that. That is our, our biggest thing. And we all spend time, we cook together and we go for walks and, um, oh, it's just lovely. It's not about, for us, it's not about money and gift giving really we've brought the children up to understand that it's about time it's family time and being together and spending time with the animals you know we do exchange gifts of course but we don't you know it's not it's not all about that for us so it's really nice it's sort of been put into the kids from a very early age that that's not how we do it and um yeah and it's lovely so we're all really looking forward to it the boys are so excited rupert can't wait um as you can imagine and he's going to be a big brother that's like the most exciting thing in the world ever for him so yeah so we're, we're we're really we're really thrilled this year it's going to be really special but um obviously there's the the small matter of um of giving birth to a baby <laughs> in the middle of it all so i'm doing the um as i say the yuletide pudding today which i'll show you um i I'm, it's called christmas pudding um it's got other names i'm not sure what else it's called but there's many many things that it's called but it's basically a lovely fruity pudding um that's fed lots of alcohol so on the day it's all it's beautiful so yes yeah, so i'm looking forward to doing that and um i can feel feel little oscar moving away as i'm sitting here now oh, it's such a strange thing um so yeah so i'm gonna do that so i'll turn you off i'll turn the camera on and um yeah i'm just gonna show you what i do and uh yeah and that'll be ready for well for for the period the festive period so as i say can't wait most of the videos from now will be me getting ready because we have so much that we do um i do make a bit of a rod for my own back but it is lovely to see we've got something called the dummy elves who i'll introduce you to which um well, most people have elf on the shelf but we know we have the dummy elves we've had them for many years um and the dummy elves are um yeah rupert's little special friends that follow him around the house and now i've got two older boys it's really handy because they can help me move them about so Rupert really is amazed when he sees them one minute they're there and then the next minute they're somewhere else looking at him and they leave little gold coins about for when he's when he's been a good boy or if he's done something nice or you know so it's really it's really good fun so and it, and it all starts now really um and this year was I say I'm getting a little bit more prepared just because normally on the 1st of December I'd be be thinking of things that we could be doing but I'm a bit prepared because I'm not going to be here for for all five days so it'll be interesting to see how Daddy Moon gets on with that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get on with the cooking and um, I shall see you soon.
Good evening everybody. So I've collapsed in the kitchen. We have completed the um, the puddings. They're both on the stove bubbling away. They've got to stay on there for six hours, um, just steaming. So that'll be about 11 o'clock tonight. Oh, I have to stay up too to get them off, but that'll be okay. I just thought I'd introduce you to the dummy elves. They're here. Oh. So these little guys are going to be playing quite a big part in the vlogs over the coming weeks. Um, they're called the dummy elves because they are the way that we got the dummy off of Rupert. Um, so yeah, he, he agreed to hand his dummy over and then something magical would happen and these elves suddenly appeared and they start wandering around the house and leaving him little, little treats every now and again when he's been a good boy or just unexpected things. So he's, um, yeah, so he's looking forward to, to these coming back out again. So it's a bit like Elf on the Shelf, but we've been doing it a while. We've done it with all the boys. These are very special, these ones, because they, um, they're they actually little Norwegian elves um, that I've restored. So they've got, they've got a lot of history and they're very old. They're antiques. They're absolutely lovely. Um, if you look on my Jenny Moon Bears um, Facebook page, you'll actually see, see me restoring them. So, yeah, they're really, really special to the family. And obviously we've got Oscar as well who's going to enjoy them when he when he finally arrives so yeah so in the coming coming weeks you'll get to see what mischief these two get up to and the excitement with Rue and also what will be lovely is I'll be able to catch it on camera because he won't know the camera is here so when he comes waddling into the kitchen and he sees them it's, it's quite amazing to see see the excitement and the build up to, to Yuletide so yeah so I just thought I'd show you those today and um, yeah and then over the coming few few weeks you'll get to see them in action um, I'm going to go we've got a nice dinner on um, I'm going to relax and do nothing. The boys, bless them, have got the horses in. It's absolutely peeing with rain here. So they've um, come, gone and got the horses in and they've got nice thick straw beds and lovely lots of hay and they've had their nice hot porridge tonight for dinner. So um, yeah, so everyone's happy. And uh, Nicholas, or Daddy Moon as we call him, he's upstairs um, still painting and Rupert's in the bath um, waiting to come down have his hot milk and put his pyjamas on. So we shall see you soon and I hope you enjoy the video. I will put a um, the recipe in the description for you. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I can't obviously show you tonight what it turns out like because it will be 11 o'clock this evening. So but I will film it and I'll pop it in, in the vlog for tomorrow or, um, or the day after when, we, when I next do a vlog. So um, we shall see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.